Good afternoon, welcome to BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell from Gonzales Beach here in Victoria, British Columbia. With the Victoria Grizzlies Hockey Club, our cleaning up with Mark at Jenkins Elementary School. More on that later on the show, but first, path things over to our game of the week, the Vernon Vipers of Surrey Eagles. Before that, let's check out the banner raising. On behalf of the Surrey City Council, it's my privilege to welcome you here tonight to this banner raising game. And I'm joined, of course, by MLA Gordy Hall and Mayor Wayne Baldwin. We're extremely proud of the accomplishments during the last season. Look forward to another year of success. Have a great day tonight. Good luck to both teams. Now they'll fire the puck into the Surrey zone. Mike McNicholas gives chase. Calvin lets the puck roll to the blue line. Here's Mark Hamilton. He'll take a wrist shot through traffic. He scores! Mark Hamilton with a wrist shot from the right point. It fooled everybody, including Victor Adamo. And the Vipers are on the board just a minute and 33 into this one. It is 1-0. Austin Smith will range from his goal to slow it down. Power play unit, Gunther, Bird, McNicholas, Hanoon, and Denks. Here comes McNicholas in over the line. Stops up along the right wing side. Feeds it to Bird at the point. Back to McNicholas at the right circle. He walks in. Dishes back to Bird at the blue line. Back down low to McNicholas again. Back to Bird. They work the right side. Bird tries a wrist shot. Looking for Denks. He gets the rebound. He scores! Dexter Denks looking for the tip. Corral the rebound. Put it past the demo. And the Vipers have a 2 nothing lead. Said a lot of teams have that killer instinct. And the Vipers are starting to learn it. When they get leads, they'll want to hold on to them. And so far, playing in the offensive zone, a good way to do that. Here's Jonah Renouf with a wrist shot. Smith to Zabie. Go on the rebound. It's loose. Cleared. The rebound. Scores. A crazy bounce off of Austin Smith. The Vipers couldn't find it. The Surrey Eagles could. Mulcahy looks like he gets the goal. And you blink, you miss it. At 8.35, the Eagles are on the board. Here's Mackey, stepped into by Citron. Citron had a good hold of Mackey's stick. No penalty on the play, and Mulcahy is stripped. And now Saharchuk will go away. Right wing for Blacklock. Blacklock cuts to the middle with a shot. He scores! Mason Blacklock with a seeing eye wrist shot that beat Adamo to the blocker's side. It was a laser beam, and the Vipers get a huge goal. It's 3-1. Spots now comes to the blue line. Here's Jonah Renouf with a shot through traffic. Heinen looking for the rebound. Adamo is gone onto the bench. And Craig Martin, pardon me, that's Dexter Danks will feed it all the way down the ice. Don't forget, with the net empty and a man in the penalty box, they can ice it as many times as they want. Looking at that empty net. Here come the Eagles, though. It's six on four. 68 seconds to go. Dexter Danks, good job tracking down his man at center and gets the puck in deep. So the remainder of regulation time, hopefully for the Vipers, will be six on four. Here's Russell over the line. Checked. Okay, he can't get much on it, and the Vipers clear it again. This one will not roll on that. Now Blacklock on his horse, puts it on net, he scores! Great hustle from Mason Blacklock to beat his man and seal it into an empty net. We're going to pass things to Nick Bazard, who's talking to Sir Eagles head coach, Peter Schaefer. And last year, of course, you guys made it to the Fred Page Cup Finals. You won it over the Penticton Vs in the final game in double overtime. Adam Tambellini scored the game winner. Can you tell me a bit about the reaction on the bench and what you're feeling when Tambellini put that one home? Well, the whole series was was an up and down series and uh, you know it could have went either way every game. So uh, definitely remember the feeling of the guys jumping on the ice and the excitement uh, and uh, the sense of relief because like I said, the, uh, the whole series was a crazy series. And now what was going on in the locker room after you guys won the Fred Page Cup knowing that you guys had a chance to represent the BCHL in the RBC Cup. Yeah, no, obviously that was uh, in the guys' minds, uh, you know, the whole series. We just had to close out one more series and then we get an opportunity to go, uh, you know, and uh, represent. So, I mean, it was it was an exciting time and, uh, you know, uh, it gives us uh, goosebumps here just talking about it again, thinking back of uh, the fun times that we had last season. And now is it a testament to the coaching staff and to the organization in general that Adam Tambellini was drafted in the 2013 NHL entry draft and Brady Shaw was invited to the Montreal Canadiens rookie camp? Yeah, well, we got both those guys. Uh, Brady we got early in the season from Coquitlam and 
uh, Adam we got from Vernon uh, and they both uh, improved vastly uh, individually and they obviously made our team a lot uh, a lot better getting both of them so uh, without those two guys uh, it would have been tough uh, accomplishing what we did. And yourself you had a lot of success in the CG CHL part of me did some of that um, that experience going to nationals and to league championships did that help with your coaching techniques for the younger guys? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, anytime you can uh, go through experiences, you know, uh, it makes you better, a better coaching staff. It makes you a better team. We only have five returning guys, but to have that nucleus of guys uh, try and install it in, in the new guys that we have coming up this season is, is going to help us. In last season, you were assistant coach on the bench with Matt Earhart. Matt Earhart now with the Vancouver Giants. How do you feel about taking over his spot as head coach of the Surrey Eagles? I mean, with all this, uh, all these expectations trying to re replicate last season. Yeah, Matt did a great job. Uh, you know, every year that he was, uh, you know, a part of the organization. Uh, myself and Brad Tobin were both assistants last year, and we kind of did a shared uh, role. Uh, I mean, at this level, I think uh, it's important that everyone uh, has an input. And uh, fortunately, we, we were like that last year. So I got to learn a lot from Matt, uh, you know, and now taking over, um, you know, I think that'll help me out. Uh, and he still helps me along the way. We're still keeping touch. And, uh, you know, I follow the Giants and he still follows the Eagles because he still knows a lot of the guys and helped recruit a lot of the guys. Can you talk a bit about the banner raising that took place this past weekend and the feeling in the locker room, especially from those returning players from last year's championship team? Yeah, I think obviously it means a lot more for the guys, that the returning guys that were on the team, but it also gives uh, you know the new players uh, something to shoot for and, and like you said, the hard work and the dedication that it takes to, to accomplish what we did last season, um, you know, along with uh, you know, a player or two uh, on the Vernon Vipers uh, you know, that were on our team last season also. Thank you so much, Peter. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. The reason Victoria Grizzlies and Margaret Jenkins Elementary School is picking up guards to the beach is because junior A hockey players not only learn hockey, but learning life skills. We'll more on those episodes upcoming in the BCH Center, but right now it's time for the BCHL News. It was a busy news in the BCHL transactions. First, September 24th, the Alberni Valley Bulldogs have transferred the CJHL playing race to Shane O'Brien to the Blind River Beavers of the NOJHL in exchange for future considerations. The Dogs also acquired CJHL playing rights to Jason Ilnick from the Camrose Kodiaks, the Alberta Junior Hockey League, in exchange for future considerations. Also, the Burnie Valley Bulldogs have acquired CJHL playing rights to Halen Orr from the Salmon Arm Silverbacks in exchange for future considerations. The Silverbacks have acquired CJHL playing rights of Max Becker from the Picton and V's in exchange for future considerations. And the West Kelowna Warriors have acquired the CJHL playing rights to Spencer Morse from the Vernon Vipers in exchange for future considerations. In suspension news, Lang Riverman's number 10, Brendan Gulk, has suspended six games for leaving the bench, becoming involved in an altercation on September 21st. On September 28th, the Prince George Bruce King's number 11, Brian Christian, is suspended one game for receiving his second goal to interference minor penalty in the same game. I'm here with Shane Polson of the Merit Centennials. Shane, you're one of the key returning players this season. It's your second to last season as well. How do you think your role has changed as you're growing older and taking a bigger leadership role? Well, I've really noticed a different role in the locker room. Uh, I got to pick up uh, the the rookies morale sometimes and uh, just make sure they're ready to go, take the nerves out of them a little bit, where it used to be me sitting there with all the nerves not too long ago. So, and What do you think are some of the key changes that were made during the offseason to have a better season in 2013-2014? Uh, we've made a lot of changes. I, I came in here from trail on a trade this offseason, and uh, I think our 20-year-olds are going to be real strong for us this year. We've got some good, hard-working young rookies. So I think we're going to have a good season. And you spoke about yourself coming in from trail. Have you adjusted well chemistry-wise in the locker room and on the ice? Yeah, I love it here. I've met a lot of guys already here. So I knew some guys coming in, played with guys before, so I, I feel great. Thank you so much, Shane. Good luck this season. Yeah, thank you.
Hey, welcome to Decision BCHL Central. I'm your host, Tally Campbell from Gonzales Beach, the city of Victoria, clean up with the Victoria Grizzlies. If you want to watch any of our past episodes, www.youtube.com slash VSBNCA or follow us on Twitter at BCHL Central. Have some fantastic week. We'll see you next week.